Hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail. I'm Brian and I want to thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, today we are talking about words. Uh, not just any type of word because I mean we I'm using words right now. You're using words. We all use words. Um, but the, the key to words are that so many people use words without really realizing the effects that it has not on other people. We're not going to talk about other folks right now. We're going, I want to talk about you. Actually, words that talk, that concern you and how you are inadvertently getting in your own way. Because we do that so many times. We actually, we are our own worst enemy and our own worst critic, as a lot of people like to say. It's a common phrase. And so we're going to talk about that today. Okay, words have a power, have power, not only they don't only influence other people, but they influence yourself. And believe it or not, a lot like food, you know, they have that phrase of you are what you eat, you are what you say. And that is a big thing that a lot of people don't understand. Um, when it comes to words, they will just be talking about what's going on in their in their business or what's talking going on in their life without even realizing that their topic the words that they're using influence them in ways that would never you would ne ever actually consider. So, I wanted to talk today about about six different words that affect you a lot more than you want to uh, realize. So, and let's go ahead and let's jump in there because I know your time's busy. My, and so, I want to get uh, want to make sure that we uh, that you understand that your words influence your mindset. So let's start off with one that um, as a parent, we can't, no parent likes to hear their kids say. No, no it's not no. Um, it's not even a, a, a random uh, a cuss word they pick up. It's can't. I don't know about you, but I didn't let my kids say can't. I know I wasn't allowed to say can't. Um, growing up, can't is such a debilitating word. But when we get old enough and we start move out on our own, all of a sudden we pick that word up like we've been using it forever and it's probably one of the worst words we could ever use. Because I can't means I am giving up. I'm not going to even try. I can't get this figured out because it's too hard. I can't get this, you know, this this game saw so, uh one because it's it's kicking my butt it's there's so many times that we say we can't when you say you can't you're telling your mind you're telling yourself with subconscious hey dude he doesn't really want to actually do this so when you say i can't uh figure out how to get my the 100 people a day to visit my website i'm telling myself don't even try because Tell my subconscious, don't even try it, man. It's not even worth it because I'm not gonna. I I'm, I'm not really into it that much, as much as I want to make myself think. When you hear, if you hear your ever hear yourself say you can't, correct yourself. Go, oh no, no, I I didn't. I can get it figured out. It's this is just flipping tough. You, it's it's hard. It's I'm I'm having trouble. How can I fix this? is a great way. If you catch yourself saying, I can't get this figured out, say, well, how can I get this figured out? Ask your subconscious that question because immediately your subconscious goes, oh, he just asked a question. Let's see, can we figure this out? How, how do we figure this out? And it goes into overdrive trying to figure out how to get that figured out. And usually it comes up with an answer when you're in the shower. When you first wake up and you're transitioning from subconscious thought into uh, into conscious thought. All of a sudden, you're like uh, taking a shower and you're like, oh, I hadn't thought of trying it that way before. So don't allow yourself to say can't because you're going to quit. If you, if you let that word creep into your vocabulary, 
you will it will stomp your motivation into the dirt it is just the most one of the most brutal words you could say to yourself same as you're telling your kids you can't do that and if you ever tell your kids you can't do that don't <laughs> change that immediately because they can. They can do anything they set their mind to. And a lot of times you tell them them they can't, guess what? They're going to do it just to show you they can. So can't should be should be driven out of the English language. Cannot is another is just the uh, extended version of the contraction can't. Both of these don't shouldn't be allowed in the, in the uh, English language and should be gotten rid of. How many times you've been talking to someone and you're, hey man, you want to go fishing tomorrow? I, I'm not able to. I almost said I can't. Uh, I'm not able to. I have to blank. I have to do this. I have to. I, I, ha I have to. I have to go mow the lawn. I have to. I have to write a, a blog post. I have to make a video. I have to go make a hundred thousand dollars this week. Sounds kind of sounds kind of goofy, doesn't it? When you say it like that, I have to make money uh, today. When in reality, I have to. Again, tells that subconscious he really doesn't want to do that. You really don't care to make money, so don't worry about it. Come up with an excuse as to why he should be able to go fishing, so he can go fishing. He would rather go fishing than to provide food for his family. I have to harkens back to the uh, when you were a kid and your parents you have to get good grades or else blah 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 a lot for the same reasons too uh, saying can't saying you have to is just more of a direct way and a more forceful way of saying this is not going to work you have to do this you're going to do this instead of what you want to do so drop the I have to and along with that, you're going to go ahead and drop the next word because the next word is just as bad. Got. I got to got to work on on these uh, sales funnels. I've got to, you know, I've got to mow the lawn. I've got to, I've got to go watch uh, the kids dance recital. I've got to, got to go coach the little league team. I've got to do this. Boo hoo, dude! That is an opportunity you're doing. So take the I gots and the I have tos and spin that over into a more positive angle because there's a lot more positivity in the opportunities that you have so smile about that be glad about that be glad that that opportunity has has risen into your uh, into your view being able to do something is a blessing Every time you get to, every time you have a opportunity to do something, don't curse it with I got to. I got to mow the lawn. Well, be grateful for the fact that you have a lawn. Because there's a lot of people who live in apartments. They don't have a lawn. They don't get to, you know, do what they want. They want to plant a tree in the front yard. They don't get to because they don't have a front yard. They don't have, they can't send the kids into the backyard because they don't have a backyard. People who live in uh, in in downtown and in, uh, inner city areas don't have the ability to send their kids out to the yard, so you don't get the opportunity to to dress up a a yard and make it look like you want to if you don't have one. So I get to mow the lawn. I have the opportunity to mow the lawn. I am blessed with the ability to actually take care of the grass that God gave. A lot of great ways you can turn that and turn a an idea or a, an opportunity or a task a task that you don't want to do turn it into a positive idea i i am blessed to i am able to do this and that actually will give your subconscious and your motivation a little boost because all of a sudden it's like hey he wants to do this and we're he, he we're going to do that because that's what he wants to do another one that is almost as bad as can't is it's impossible me and my son we used to have this this game um, he, he would try to come up with a way to think to, uh, come up with anything something of, uh, at all 
that is impossible. It is impossible for man to fly. No, they do it every day in airplanes. Well, it's impossible for man to fly without an airplane. No, they do it in air in uh, they do it in helicopters. They fly in uh, in gliders. They fly in uh, in hang gliders. They in in big wind gliders. Uh, and there's uh, gyrocopters and parachutes. There's lots of ways for people to fly. Well, that man can't fly unassisted. No, look at space. You get up into space and you're, you can't help but fly. Um, another thing, it's impossible to fit a uh, camel through the uh, eye of a needle. No, you just gotta figure out a way of shrinking that camel or making the, uh, the eye of the needle bigger. You just, there's there's a, 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 a problem looking for a solution when you come up to something that is impossible. So whenever you see something and you go, I can't do that, that's impossible. I can't get a hundred thousand people tomorrow. I can't make a hundred, uh, I can't make a uh, hundred thousand uh, dollars this year. Well, actually you can. You just have to be able to figure out the solution as to how to get a hundred people to pay you a thousand dollars or maybe even a thousand people to pay you a hundred dollars and you go, well, that's a lot of people there's almost eight billion people in the world so a thousand is a drop in the bucket there's nothing to a, a to thousand people you can get it I've got four thousand followers I mean come on they follow me on on Twitter of all things, how, why in the world do they want to follow somebody like me on Twitter? I don't know, but they follow me. It is possible to get a thousand people. And you can convince a thousand people to pay you a hundred dollars and you can make a hundred thousand dollars in a year. Someday. Now this one here is one of those that dreamers, this is what keeps a dreamer a dreamer. All right. You will always hear a dreamer say, someday I'm going to go do this. Someday we're going to do this. One day I am going to go there. One day I'm going to do this. Guess what? There are seven days in the week. There's a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday, a Saturday, a Sunday. Yeah, that's seven. I didn't say someday in there. I came close. There was a someday, but not a sun. There was a Sunday, but not a someday. I almost got myself confused. <laughs> so, but when you are looking at a task, or you're looking at a dream, you're wanting to do something. I want to, I want to go walk the Camino. I'm not going to say someday I'm going to walk the Camino because that tells your subconscious, ah, 